In the same vein, Muslims in the southern part of the country have clamored for peace and unity as the Mark Idil Fitir. The report. Muslim faithfuls in Bayelsa State celebrate the day recalling the incidents that led to the death of some persons in the state on Wednesday. The Quran was revealed in this month to mankind. So that is why Allah has directed us that uh, when it uh, gets to that month, we should observe uh, 30 days or 29 days of Ramadan fast. So we just ended it yesterday. So today is the celebration. It is compulsory to all Muslims by, from God. And uh, after we finish the fasting, we have to give sacrifice. We have to give zakat, fitri. You can buy rice, corn, guinea corn, and cheer to the people that are not able to get, you know, that they will get what they will cook after Salana. We should do the right thing as Muslims here in Bayasa State. We are, not, we are not supposed to put ourselves, our hands, in wrong things. We are supposed to focus the ways of Allah. The ways of Allah is to live in harmony, to do things rightfully, not to indulge yourself in any form of activities that will bring disunity. Um, it is also recited in the Quran at this time that um, um, if you save one Muslim or you save one life, it's regarded that you have saved an entire generation. And uh, also killing one life means that you have killed an um, entire generation. <laughs> Inikiti, also in the southern part of the country, Muslim faithfuls converge at the central praying ground in the capital. Speaking on behalf of the state government, the secretary to the state government, Dr. Habibat Adubiaru, called for a sustenance of partnership to retain the peace in the state. And we should continue praying for the successful, uh, the change in government coming on, on uh, May 29. So we should not allow our people to be used as uh, hooligans or as thugs. So we should embrace peace. We should make ourselves one for this country so that the Nigeria will continue to go in higher and higher. Some worshippers at the praying ground express joy and hope for a better Nigeria, but not without a call to the newly elected political office holders. Nigerians have suffered a lot. I'm hopeful that this coming administration will heal the wounds of the past and it will be better for us, inshallah. The successful is that whatever we ignore, Whatever we ran out during Ramadan, whatever we did not do, that we know that is an evil act during Ramadan, we should not go back into it. I'm moving towards another government, so we need to at least to advocate peace and harmony in Nigeria, so that we live in peace. We are all one in Nigeria. In neighboring Ogun states, the government urged Muslim faithfuls to continue to imbibe the values and teachings learned during the month of Ramadan. Has also enjoyed me to tell our brothers and sisters in Islam that yes, we agree Ramadan has finished. We must continue to follow the ethics, the values that Ramadan taught us even after the end of Ramadan. He has also sent me to tell our spiritual fathers that he thanks them very much because without their prayer, we would not have been able to achieve all that we achieved within the last four years. Addressing faithfuls, the Grand Imam of Oshun State, Musa Animashan, implored them to ponder on the gains of Ramadan. He spoke alongside the governor, Ademola Adeleke, who is observing his first Eid in office. After this Ramadan, they should know because we are all human beings. You know, it's only God that is 100 percent. We are not 100 percent. But they should try and abide from the you know, fasting of that 30 days. You know, a lot of people stay away from a lot of things. They should try to abide you know, by it. It's not going to be easy, but they should just try. And they should be more prayerful all the time. Because I know during the fasting, there's prayer every time. They should continue that prayer. So I should can move forward. So I should can get to the promised land. The blessing of Ramadan is one, forbearance, 
uh, and of course devotion to Almighty God, and of course sense of sacrifice, and of course commitment to spiritual development. So we pray that God will give us the wherewithal to continue with that I mean, spirit and to continue to walk in the path of Almighty God. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.